So yes, the future of Batfleck is still uncertain, but there is hope. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, the future of Batman in the DCEU. This is part two of a three-part series covering Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman leading up to the Snyder Cut, talking about the characters' futures in the DCEU. So what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to WeSibs, West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we break down your favorite movies and TV shows. And Batfleck, let me just set the premise, he is my favorite Batman of all time. I know that may be controversial. I know there's been a lot of controversy for Batfleck, but when you look at Ben Affleck's actual real life struggles compared to his struggles as Bruce Wayne being battered, being beaten, he really is living that life in a lot of ways. Um, and then from a physical standpoint, from as, as Batman with the cowl on, the most intimidating Batman. He really gives credit to that physical specimen aspect of Batman. Because remember, Batman is supposed to be peak human, okay? And no other Batman that I've seen, yeah, they're cut or whatever, but this is a dude, okay, that criminals would actually be afraid of. And I love the whole branding thing that he was doing in BVS, marking the criminal criminals like this is a dude you do not want to catch you on the streets. You would rather be caught by the cops. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be caught by Batman. So obviously I wanted to see this character in his own movie. And as, as recently as a month ago, Zack Snyder was quoted saying he loves Joe. Joe is uh, uh, dark, uh, not dark side, Slade Wilson, AKA Deathstroke. And he said that he'd love to see Batman and Deathstroke duke it out in a movie. Um, I'm paraphrasing here. Um, he added, who knows? We know Ben's going to be in the Flash movie, which is nice to see him. Um, it's trickling down. It's nice. So obviously we know that all of this hangs on the Snyder Cut, the success of the Snyder Cut. In order for Zack to get control back of the DCEU, um, Snyder Cut has to be absolutely record smashing, um, successful in every way. And Fans really need to speak up if you want to see more Batfleck. We know he's going to be in the new Flash movie, um, but he was supposed to get his own movie in which he would fight Deathstroke. We would get more Jared Leto Joker, as well as Harley Quinn, and all that would tie into James Gunn's Suicide Squad, etc. But all of that, in fact, the entire DC universe right now is on hold um, as far as the movies go, because everybody's holding their breath to see the reaction Um of the Snyder Cut. So with that coming on Thursday, obviously we're doing coverage. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss when we do that. We're doing a collab here as well as with our sister channel, the La Quente Ledger. Um, Jay and Zach, we're gonna team up with them to cover it. So Batman will be in the new Flash movie. So no matter how how this movie goes, we are going to see new Batman. Um, we know from the Justice League, the Joss Whedon version of the Justice League movie, Batman was in a much brighter place, in a much better place than he was before. Before he was torn apart from the death of Robin and then trying to tear apart the League, right? He was hunting them all down. We saw the files on his computer. He was trying to take them all out um, or at least expose them all. And by the end of the Justice League, I don't want to take too much from that, but it's safe to assume that by the end of that, you know, there was a scene where he's talking with Wonder Woman and he's saying, you know, big, big table, you know, seven seats or six seats, room for more, um, obviously alluding to assembling the Justice League. So will we see him assembling more members for the Justice League after this movie? I highly doubt it. The next time we see him is going to be in the Flashpoint movie and he's going to kind of be helping Barry jump between multiverses. He's probably going to be responsible for building the suit um, that Flash uses, um, his new suit. We got some concept art from that. I'll put that up on the screen showing what his new suit will look like. Um, and this is obviously going to be his more comic accurate suit. This will be given to him by Batman. But the real question is, are we going to get a movie or an HBO spinoff series between now the Snyder Cut and the new Flash movie, Flashpoint? And again, that's all up to the Snyder Cut. I think at most... Right now, they would do a spinoff series just to see uh, Deathstroke and Batman duke it out in some kind of series, filling in a lot of the back plot. Maybe they could do 10 episodes. We know it can be done. Um, people are doing full-fledged movies now from Marvel to DC on HBO Max. So it can be done if they did a uh, limited run, 10 episodes, just to give us a lot more information about Gotham, about what happened to Robin, because there was supposed to be a movie about that. The death of Robin wasn't supposed to just show up in BVS. There was supposed to be a movie between Man of Steel and the first BVS, but Warner Brothers axed it. Um, so this movie could, or this spinoff series on HBO could help fill in some of those details for Batman. Um, 
and then we'd be ready to see him in the Flashpoint movie. I highly doubt he would get a movie in between uh, that time. We know that Ben Affleck is more than happy to play the role of Batman. He was he was graceful and professional when he stepped aside when they were talking about Robert Pattinson, which is going to be a great Batman movie by the looks of it as well in its own right. But again, you're, you're going away from that physical specimen Batman. I know it's going to go more into the detective Batman, which is also a, a very true part of his character. He is the world's greatest detective. But I just, we had never seen an on-screen Batman like Ben Affleck. And I'll even say this, and I know Jay from the Lotta Quente Ledger, he disagrees with me, but um, Ben as as Bruce is starting to grow on me as well, just because I'm connecting more of Ben's real life with the Bruce Wayne. And I know it, it just it gives some context when he's delivering his lines. Some of that stress, some of that, um, you know, tattered nature is actually not acting. <laughs> you know, he had been through some uh, a rough patch for sure. Also, Joe Manganiello also said it was a really dark story, the one where Slade would be fighting Batman. He says, in which Deathstroke was like a shark or a horror movie villain that was dismantling Bruce's life from the inside out. Um, and also he had killed like everyone close to Bruce and destroyed his life to try and make him suffer because Bruce was responsible for something that had happened to him. So kind of a vengeance plot there. Um, but nobody really cares. It's kind of like a Godzilla versus King Kong or a Batman v Superman. We just want to see them fight. And what a spectacle it would be. I mean, you're talking about born on, on steroids, like cranked up to 11, just hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapon mastery like we probably haven't seen. And you know that the visual genius Zack Snyder would have made it worth our while. So that's something that I definitely would have wanted to see. But if we just get an HBO Max series, I think they could still do it there as well. And for those of you who, you know, the jury's still out on whether you like Batfleck or not, all I would say is just give him his own movie. He's the only Batman, really, who's never had his own movie. So... I think that if we can give him his own series or his own movie to really, and he's thankfully he's gotten some prep. He's been playing Batman for years now, but he's never gotten his own movie. So I think he could really shine um, if given that opportunity. And obviously Slade would be an awesome villain um, for him to debut in his own series with. And obviously Jared Leto's Joker. We'll see how he does in the Snyder Cut. Um, that would also probably make its way onto an HBO Max series if that were to find its way onto the platform. But guys, again, and it's all tied to the Snyder Cut and don't not support the Snyder Cut because you don't like Batfleck or Henry Cavill Superman or Wonder Woman or any of these characters because it's all tied together. Um, they are taking it all. You either get all of Zack Snyder and his whole vision for the DCEU or you get none of it. And if you like the dark DC, then you're, you're going to have to support it all. Um, because it, it, they're not going, Warner's not going to want to break up. Okay, well, uh, we'll use the multiverse and we'll keep this guy and X that guy. And Zach, you can do this movie, but not that movie. It just gets too complicated too quickly. So it's kind of an all or nothing thing. So be ready for Thursday. Um, that's my opinion on what's going to happen with the character Batman, Batfleck in particular, in the DCEU. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, I've got the Wonder Woman video up that came yesterday, The Future of Wonder Woman. I'll leave a link somewhere on the video. And down in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we got a great week coming up for you. The finale of Servant is coming on. We got Superman and Lois and The Flash coming tonight. So there'll be three videos for today. Um, man, it's going to be a great time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.